Today I'm gonna to show you how to make minestrone, which is just a beautiful, hearty, warming soup for the colder times in the year. Now, the great thing about minestrone, as with many Italian recipes, is that there's no one definitive recipe for it. So essentially, minestrone just means big soup, and it's, it contains whatever you've kind of got in the cupboard. So whatever you've got in your pantry, whatever's at the bottom of the veggie bin that you want to throw into a soup, this is the soup to do it. I'm going to show you how to make the basic one, and you take it away from there. So first of all, what I'm going to do is cook down some speck. Now, in the recipe it says bacon, just use ordinary bacon if you like. Speck is essentially just a chunk of beautiful fatty smoky bacon that you can cut into little um, battens instead of having it as thinly sliced as your bacon. So I'm just going to take off the skin. Don't take off all the fat. That's what's going to leach out and make it lovely for your veggies and things to cook into. So you're going to slice that relatively thickly. If you're using speck, as I say, if you're using bacon, just take the rind off, slice it up, and away you go. Turn the pot on, get it nice and warm. If you want to make this soup vegetarian, just leave this out, easy as. If you want to make it more meatitarian, then again, this is something that you can just find if you've got some leftover mince or anything like that, make some little tiny meatballs and throw them in, or anything you like. Obviously, if you're gonna make it vegetarian, you'll use a different stock to a beef stock. You might use a veggie stock. So in the pot with that, fairly gently, so that the fat starts to render down while we get our veggies prepped. So in the recipe, it says two brown onions. This is a whopping great big red onion, which really sort of um, ties into the idea that Whatever it is that's in your cupboard or in your pantry that you need to use is what you can use. So I'm just going to dice this up fairly simply. So we're going to do two small or one large potato. My preference for this soup is to use a kind of a floury potato because it helps up with the thickening of the soup. So dirty potatoes as a general rule are your floury potatoes and your clean skinned potatoes are more of a waxy potato. So they're good for potato salad and so forth. These are good for mashing and for thickening things up with. Into a little dice of about a centimetre. So you want this potato to cook fairly rapidly. In your soup, you don't want to be waiting half an hour for it. So you're going to make it into like a little one centimetre cube and that'll cook away nice and quick. A couple of carrots. These are whoppers as well. It's going to be a nice veggie filled soup. So again with the carrots, I'm just going to turn those into a dice to put into the soup and that is going to cook away in the lovely tomato and beef stock. So I'm just going to pop the potatoes and the carrots in there. And next comes the celery. So I'm just going to cube the celery as well. Just cut it in half the length of the stalk. And I'm just going to give that a moment in the pot. Let it all get a little bit of flavour and colour about it before I add the liquid components to the soup, which is tomatoes and beef stock. So it's all beautifully softened down. We're putting in two 400 gram cans of tomatoes. And if you can afford it, and if you can find them, the Australian kind. Uh, always, when I can, I support our Australian farmers. So I know Ardmona are Australian tomatoes. There's plenty of imported brands on the market, but these are grown here at home. So Australian tomatoes go in, two 400 gram cans, and then a litre of liquid beef stock um, or, you know, made up liquid beef stock in there. And what's going to happen is that's all going to cook away together. The veggies are going to go beautifully soft. And then we're going to cook a little bit of pasta in there and some beans as well. 
Okay, so that's come to a boil, a nice rolling boil there. So you know all the veggies are getting nice and soft in that soup. The next thing we're going to add is about 250 grams of pasta. So I've chosen the littlest pasta there is, which is risoni or orzo, it's also called. And that's about half of that packet. You can also use shells or spirals or macaroni or whatever you like. Um, just make sure it's cooked, that's all. So about half that is going in. I reckon that's right. And then a can of red kidney beans or it can be cannellini beans. You've just got to make sure that you take the lid off, run it under cold water until they're rinsed, okay? And then that can goes in. Once again, the Australian version, if you can. I'm gonna give that a stir. And that risoni will take about five minutes to cook. So I'm gonna let that go for another five minutes and then we're ready to season and serve. So that's been bubbling away for about five minutes. The risoni is cooked. What's really important with this soup is that you taste it and season it. So anything with tomatoes in it can need salt. It just depends on your bacon and how salty that is. So have a little taste. Add a little bit of salt to that. I'm gonna put in some ground black pepper. And give it a stir and taste it again. But I think that might be just right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a yummy tomato soup. It's got lots of veggies in it. Just about ready to serve up for dinner. So there you have it. This is a truly inexpensive, filling, warming family dinner. It's supposed to be a peasant soup, but I reckon it's so full of flavour that when you eat it, you'll feel like a king or a queen.